keeping it coy. Um, just again, a quick update, a uh, bit of a midweek update today, so uh, a little bit, something extra for you. Um, I finished work really early today, I only had a small job on this morning, um, putting a TV on a wall for a person. So, uh, got back just as I was arriving, Amazon delivered. Perfect timing, to be honest, it probably fit through the letterbox anyway, but unloading me tools out of the van and uh, Amazon's walking up me uh, up my garden path. So it's like, oh, that's for me, hold on, give me a second. Anyway, I'll show you what I've got. Hopefully it will uh, it will help. Spin you around, I'll show you. Guys, this is what we've got. Um, I don't know if uh, any of you guys follow Project Koi, um, but uh, he's just recently uh, used some of this for his, uh, he also has a, a fry tank and a grow on tank on one filter and has uh, suffered very uh, bad with nitrites. Uh, this year and uh, he bought some of this and uh, with a bit of work and a bit more media in his shower he's uh, seems to have resolved all his nitrite issues and he's now saying he's got zero nitrite so uh, here's a second review for you all so uh, it comes in these little tiny glass vials and uh, they, they are actually glass um, and then you snap snap the top off that does it for you, as you can see. It's all all in foreign. There's no English, unfortunately. But you just push, put the plastic bitty bob on the top, push it all the way down. That then snaps the top. You can then lift it up and remove the top, um, and pour it in. Obviously, that is way too much for a, a fish tank. You will see though that there is now one vial missing. Um, what I did is I put uh, what I believe to be the recommended amount, but as I say, there's no uh, no English. So between uh, between German and French, I've kind of worked it out that, uh, well, I think. One ampoule. Yeah, so I think one vial does 10 square meters, um, which all three of my ponds together isn't even 10 square meters, but I have used one whole vial today. Uh, I've put some in there and uh, some in the little pond and some in the uh, in the back pond um, it has been raining but it's look I don't know it's still raining but uh, as I've got the rest of the day off whether it's raining or not I am going to try and do some digging Just excuse me a second while I put my shoes on because uh, even the path is getting a bit muddy now but I haven't killed the grass yet so uh, that's that's a bonus because I only paid for that grass last year, and the missus said if I kill it, I'm in deep trouble. <laughs> we uh, I laid brand new turf last year, which is why I keep getting annoyed that the squirrels keep digging holes. Yet again, um, I only said to you guys the other day, saw him in the middle of the lawn digging holes. But I keep keep replanting bits, all these little black piles of fresh earth, look, billions of seed underneath, and then he comes along and redigs them up. I mean, and not only is he re-digging up all the ones that I've reseeded, I mean that one's an absolute mess, but I, I always check, make sure he hasn't actually put a nut in there before I go over, but there's a fresh one, look. They're only about the same size as, say, a golf ball. You could probably just push a golf ball in these holes, but uh, it's so bloody annoying. Um, but anyway, yeah, I've, I've literally just started tinkering with the old digging, but uh, I've just realised I haven't really shown you. Um, I keep saying how difficult it is and how much of a ball ache it is, but uh, yeah, so as you can see by this pile of earth that I've literally just, just chiselled out from that far back corner, that's it, you know, you want a few pickaxe swings, that's it. Look at the size of that muddy hands but these are the kind of pebbles that I'm getting out I mean that is not a pebble that is a brick um, also got out these big old lumps of concrete here starting on a new bucket of uh, small bits of hardcore more bits of uh, hardcore down there giant pebble that's probably too big to go in the uh, the bag but yeah and then you can you can see all the hardcore and stones and everything that I've been picking out as I go not every single one obviously but you, you can see with every with every stroke of a pickaxe look I mean this 
big pebbles and bits of hardcore and more pebbles yeah. so one stroke with this and it doesn't go very far because every time it hits another stone so uh, yeah it's, it is hard work but uh, I'm getting there so hopefully if, uh, if it doesn't rain too hard I'll get the rest of this soil off this afternoon um, go away squirrel nope missed him um, but yeah so uh, tomato plant is finally starting to wilt and die um, but still got a few tomatoes on it I don't know if you see a couple there in the front a couple there would you believe it's November tomatoes that's going to be annoying as well there's a, also a brick there going under my blooming pond wall and I got got lucky here one of them big lumps of concrete sorry for spinning you all around but yeah one of these big lumps of concrete the big one there I honestly thought it was going to also be under the pond wall I, it probably is just um, but only by a very very small amount so I can wet up a bit of clay and jam that in there no problem but yeah that brick obviously when I when I get that out is uh, gonna leave a big hole but uh, again we can fill it we can fill it I'd, I'd, I'd plan for this in my head um, another brick I got out there but yeah just this this lump of concrete I mean literally it goes all the way along and it's still going and it's pretty much under my pickaxe right there um, doesn't appear to be too deep I haven't found it at the back there yet but then again it it is slanting backwards slightly so uh, I don't know maybe I don't know whether that that post goes in behind it or not if it does if the concretes have molded together that's gonna be fun to get out I might have to wait till I get the, uh, the jackhammer to get that out but yeah blooming typical out here talking to you guys um, showing you uh, how much of a pain my pond has been and now it's really starting to rain so uh, I'm gonna call the video uh, a day here I might come back to you later if I do manage to get some digging done and show you how much I've done but yeah just a little quick mi mi midweek update to show you if you're gonna dig a pond by hand seriously think about either one getting some help so you can you know two people make light work three people make it easy um, and if you can't get help get a mini digger there, there, there are diggers these days that can fit through pretty much any garden gate um, it's certainly worth it if uh, if I weren't too worried about my lawn getting ruined I'd have put even halfway through I'd have probably rented a digger with, with a digger what I've dug out so far that's probably for me about six days worth of digging maybe seven um, of like full days obviously you know I've been doing sort of a couple of hours here a couple of hours there in between work and whatnot but uh, yeah that's uh, if, if, if you're talking sort of nine till five that's probably about seven days worth of uh, me digging nine till five in hours wise and uh, yeah what I've dug out so far I probably could have done in an hour with a mini digger and um, obviously you got to put the soil somewhere but, uh, but yeah it's all, all fun and games but uh, I'm down to my last bag of soil over there now people keep coming and collect it even, even this clay um, I've had a couple of people uh, message and say have I got any left I've left the, uh, the listing up on Facebook and I say I've run out of topsoil but I've got um, some clay soil if you just want it you know depending on what you're doing with it if it's not for planters then uh, it's ideal you know people that just want to fill in holes if you know people that are getting rid of ponds or whatnot I've had a few people come for soil for that and uh, I've had a few people come just because they want to level their garden a bit better so uh, yeah Keep it on there it, it certainly saves paying for a skip again any guys looking to build a pond bag it up whack it on Facebook someone will always collect free soil and uh, try and make it a bit easy access for them my uh, my gaff you remember when James was building his pond uh, James the Koi Whisperer to get round the back he had a, a fair walk round well try times in that by three and that's about the walk round people have to go to get to my back gate one guy turned up hoping to take a full bag and uh, he came with his trailer and everything I walked him round showed him where it is he went 
no, nah, that's too much effort. <laughs> I'm walked off. Um, so yeah, if if you're uh, if you've got a driveway or something like that, you know, stick the soil out the front on the driveway so it's easy access for people. Some people are just uh, a bit too lazy to carry it all round wheelbarrow by wheelbarrow. But uh, hey ho, you know, it's just a shame no cars can get out the back there. Um, it's a public cycle path, footpath. For those of you that know Peterborough, I think it's part of the Green Mile, Green Wheel, whatever it's called. Steve will know what I'm talking about from Cat and I. But, uh, but yeah, so uh, anyway, like I said a few minutes ago, I'll call it a day there. Um, thanks for watching. And I'll, uh, well, it really is coming down now, but I'll, I'll see if I can get any more of that soil out before it uh, gets all clogged up. Keep keeping it coy. Thank you.